there guys, how's it going? Dexter here and today we're talking about the Right Left Left Crash Fill. Uh, right Left Left is one of my all time favourite groups of three that you can do and you can phrase it in triplets or you can phrase it in 16th notes and 16th notes is what we're doing today and if you haven't got a clue what triplets or 16th notes are, don't worry about it, okay? You'll still be able to play this. So theoretical stuff which drummers use to communicate with each other and other musicians so but the main thing is the sticking you can still get this down even if uh, if you don't speak the crazy language which musicians seem to uh, talk about anyway let's have a look uh, we're going to be doing this so we're going to be playing a right hand on a crash cymbal with a bass drum at the same time followed by two left lefts and we're going to do that four times right left left right left left right left left right left left and you can count it one two three and again, those, uh, th those four groups of three, that's going to add up to 12 notes. But when we're playing the drums, we want to, on a fill like this, have 16 notes in the bar. And that's why we call them 16th notes, these, these notes that join together with two lines. So we want 16 of them. So what do we need to get from 12 to 16? Four more notes. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Can't count at the same time. <laughs> and then we're going to be adding four notes. And those four notes are right hand coming down to the snare, left hand to the rack tom, right left on the floor tom so right snare left rack tom right left down on the floor tom and we're going to do all the same note rates so we're not speeding up or slowing down for that last bit we're playing at the exact right left left right left left right left left right left left right left right left all the same speed And then that gives you 16 notes, which is exactly the same as doing like four groups of four. So groove in, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exact same number of notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's exactly the same. So that's why it fits into all your kind of bog standard grooves. So that's the next step. Then trying to do a groove, play that fill with it and get back to it. So start slow, keep the groove simple. Don't go, oh, I learned this groove last week. Okay, fill. No, start simple. One. Get your note rate. This is twice the speed of a normal eighth note hi hat pattern. And two. So it's going to be one e and a two e and a three e. Okay, that's the speed. Get it in your head again. Then make it more complicated. So you can try going over two crash symbols, so. Or you could do an open hi-hat, so you could play. And again, mix up that last group of four, make it your own, you can move it somewhere else. You could go right, left, right, left here. So again, the main thing I want you guys to take from this is the groupings. So it's just the, you've got your threes and you've got your four at the end. You can do whatever you want with those, mix them around, you can put the four at the beginning, put the threes later. As long as it adds up to 16, you can have some cool, quirky kind of feeling, fill happening. So that's what I want you guys to take away and make it your own and experiment with it. So if you're enjoying this kind of uh, groups of three thing, like playing when you should be playing in like four and seeing how it all fits together, uh, I do have a course called the, uh, the Fill Resolutions course where I've got, I go into groups of threes, groups of fives and groups of sevens and how to fit them into your your normal 4-4 four, four stuff. Usually you think 7, it's like 7. Who uses 7? Okay, You can use 7 in normal mainstream music and it makes some really good stuff and it, it sound, sounds cooler than you think it will. Uh, so, And it's not crazy hard to do. So all of that kind of stuff is uh, available to channel members. So if you sign up for the YouTube channel membership, uh, you'll get access to all of those lessons, which are, th th these are like little kind of taster lessons. Oh, yeah, the good stuff's hidden away. Whew. But once you find it, Progress starts to happen. Anyway, I'm going to do a short solo now, demonstrating this in a few different ways. Here we go.
on stuff. I need a drink. <laughs> right, left, left, crash fill. Please remember to subscribe if you're new. Check out the YouTube channel membership for all the awesome stuff. And I will see you guys sometime soon.